But first, there's a citywide exhibition featuring 29 MacArthur Fellows in 12 galleries. One particular exhibit at the Weinberg Newton Gallery in River North is exploring what it means to be Latino in Chicago. Arts correspondent Angel Ito shares how the artist's explorations of culture through history and photography reveal how the Latino story is the American story. I thought about your words and then I looked at the pictures. For decades, Wendy Evald has always found the best method of storytelling to be through and, photography uh, and with the help of children. I started sort of my work in that way because I was very interested in their freshness and their honesty. During the pandemic in this past summer, she worked with students from the Central Romero Youth Program virtually to use photography in an attempt to capture what it's like to be a first-generation Latino in Chicago. It's a part of the social change series titled Daily Life and Dreams in the Pandemic. They bridged the um, you know, their parents' experience in their own experience. Now, one of those stories includes 18-year-old Adriana. She tells her mother's story of moving to the United States alone at just 15 years old. I think it's really important to tell her story because I think there's just this stereotype that they come here for the wrong reason. It's absolutely necessary to, for them to come over here and make money to support their family. And for her to be able to do that at such a young age and take responsibility. It's something that I, it takes a lot of guts and I'm glad that her story is being shown and that uh, I'm um, part of it. Oh, is this your mom up here? Yes. Naila documented what it was like growing up in a Latino and Asian household. Her parents are from Mexico and Laos. Mostly the Day of the Dead. We wear like shirts or dresses that have flowers on them and like are really bright colors. Mm -hmm. And my dad's part of the family, we have like skirts that have different kind of patterns and designs. The exhibit also features work by Amalia Mesa Baines called Dos Mundos, which explores her family's immigration story to Chicago in the early 20th century. My family had worked in the steel mills in the and the packing plants, and started thinking about the office building downtown and realizing Mexican people worked in the steel mills that built those. And so they're kind of an invisible infrastructure in the city. Even though the stories explored in this exhibit sit decades apart, the artists are united in the hope that everyone can see themselves in their work. It's just normal families just trying to live their life like anybody else. The thing that I think makes our uh, show, a two-person show, really balance out is I'm talking about a wave of immigrants 100 years ago and the community they began. She's talking about contemporary current issues, how those young people see themselves, and that's our job. Our job as artists, we create imagery, we create words through poetry, dance, theater. Our job is really to uplift young people. Thanks. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. The exhibit is called Toward Common Cause, Art, Social Change, and the MacArthur Fellows Program. And you can check it out through December 18th at the Weinberg Newton Gallery in River North. And you can visit our website for more information on exhibits by other featured MacArthur Fellows.